Pepper says you can live the most abundant full life if you just take a moment to go outside and take it all in. Hello everyone and welcome back to A Hoarder's Heart. This is going to be a short and sweet Tuesday video because I want to talk about the July No Spend Challenge. For me, this is incredibly important that every month I'm continuously doing this. There was times in 2021 and 2022 where I had like a four to five month span that I didn't do it and I lost track of my spending and little miscellaneous impulse buying stuff came into the house. So as someone who is recovering in my hoarding disorder, I have to be mindful of this always. That's why I want to make sure that we're continuously doing the no spend challenge. By doing this each and every month, it has benefited me in so many ways. And I want to encourage all of you to start your no spend challenges too. By doing this each and every month, it has saved me a ton of money. I had stopped living paycheck to paycheck. We were able to pay off a lot of debt and I also have built an emergency fund. So it's given me that freedom to be able to take the summer off so that I can relax and that I can reset and recalibrate and also realize what's really important in life. And also as a recovering hoarder, it is very important to make sure that I have more things going out of my house than coming in. So preventing any of those impulsive purchases from coming into the home, I want to make sure that we're preventing that from happening. And during a time of high inflations, when prices are double and sometimes feel triple than what they used to be a few years ago, it is really important that all of us, whether we're on the hoarding disorder spectrum or not, are very mindful of our finances, getting them right, saving money, buying less, using up what we already have. This is a very important time for us to really just take that time to look at our finances and to make those mindful changes. Now, as I'm showing you the No Spend Challenge, I want you to know that you can get your free PDF if you email a hoarder's heart at gmail.com and I will send you that free copy so that you can start your No Spend Challenge too. Because I know that deep down, it's really going to benefit so many of you. Even if you only have one or two no spend days in a month, that's okay because you're starting the habit, you're starting the routine. And that was two days that you didn't spend money and you actually saved it in your account. Now, hopefully soon, by the end of summer, the website will be up and running. Right now, I'm working together with a wonderful girl named Hannah, and we are creating a website where in the future you'll be able to go there and actually download the free PDF so you can download it at any time that you want. But now, let me show you the no spend challenge that we have for July, 2023. Now, this is how we did for June, 2023. We set a goal of 15 out of 30 days. And so far, we're doing really, really well. And what I do is I color in the days that I spend no money. Now in summer, there is a lot more spending days because there's graduations, there's Father's Day, there's a lot of celebration and parties. So that's why I made sure to make it an attainable goal of 15 out of 30 days. That way I would be successful this month because if I'm feeling successful, I am more encouraged to continue doing this each and every month. And as as you can see in May, by keeping it an attainable goal, we blew by those 15 days and had 18 out of 31 days that we spent no money. We were very successful and it really feels good inside achieving that goal. And this is the July 2023 No Spin Challenge, of course, because in honor of 4th of July, I want with that kind of patriotic theme. Now, how I do my no spend challenge is that I color in the days that I spend no money. Now, that does not count if you have to fill your tank up with gas or you had to pay a bill. If you had to pay the mortgage, but you spent no money on all the impulse shopping stuff, 
I still color in that day. And of course, this month's goal is another 15 out of 31 days. And the rules that I set for myself are more positive and being in a state of gratefulness, enjoying the pool and the activities. Use the 4th of July decor that I already have. Use up all the kids outside toys that we have. Instead of doing the more negative where it's like no shopping at Target, no doing this, no doing that. It's a lot easier when you do it in a more positive, grateful mindset. And if you'd like to get started on your own no spend challenge too, please email me at a hoardersheart at gmail.com. And my hope and my prayer is that this video motivated and encouraged you to save money, to set goals, to go out and enjoy this beautiful, abundant world.